calculating a confidence interval for a mean in Excel. Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths, including Statistics Learning Centre. This is a quick video to show how to use Excel to calculate a confidence interval for a mean. To find out about what confidence intervals are, watch our video Understanding Confidence Intervals. We will use the same data we used in the video calculating a confidence interval for a mean, so you can see where the numbers come from. First, open your spreadsheet. Make sure that you have the data analysis add-in. Your data needs to be in columns with one row for each observation. In this case, each row corresponds to an apple with its weight. Click on the Data tab and then on the Data Analysis Tools. Select Descriptive Statistics. Put in the input range. Include the title at the top and select labels in the first row. Click on Output Range and select a cell in the top row of your spreadsheet to the right of the data. Select Summary Statistics and Confidence Level for Mean. Leave the level at 95% unless you have some reason to change it to something else. Click OK and hey presto, the output appears like magic. Double click on the column divider to change the column widths. You can see that there is a long list of descriptive statistics. It is good to check the count to make sure you included all the data. The value next to confidence level 95% is the margin of error. I'm not sure why it doesn't take this last step, but it doesn't. We will use this output to calculate the lower and upper bounds of the confidence interval. The lower bound is the mean minus the margin of error. And the upper bound is the mean plus the margin of error. It is good to round the answer to a sensible number of decimal places. So, the 95% confidence interval for the mean weight of all the apples in the orchard is 146.6 grams to 151.9 grams. For help in interpreting and understanding this confidence interval, see the other two videos listed here, Understanding Confidence Intervals and Calculating the Confidence Interval for a Mean Using a Formula. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel and click on the bell for notifications.